At the home page of Flowdesk, you can take a look at what you will see when you go to Flowdesk. Design emails people love to open, and I would say that that is accurate about Flowdesk. Flowdesk is certainly for design emails. It's an email marketing platform. Very easy on the eyes. We're going to go ahead and log in. And inside your dashboard, you'll see all the emails you've created. Here's some of the ones I've created. The current email, welcome email that I am greeting people with app upon subscribing is actually created in here. And I'll show you what that looks like. Your first email should say essentially welcome and deliver their freebie. So here I have welcome to the list. It's great to meet you. A little bit more about my services, how to grow your business and brand online because I am a business coach. So I've included a hyperlink there to book a strategy call and kind of kept it brief, a couple small pictures and a very cute signature. I love the fonts they use on Flowdesk. This is what you can expect or something that you could create something similar for yourself in your own business. The second email in my sequence is a story about a client of mine, a success story or a testimonial, if you will. So this is going to be the one they receive second. And this is an example of one that I sent just to keep in touch with people. So you can also look at the statistics of the email. How well did it do? Um, so 20% of the people who I sent this to actually opened it, which is very high. That's very good. Um, and I have more emails on this on my email list now. I'm at about 2,000 emails on my email list, which is not too bad. Uh, but so 1,016 emails were successfully sent. 20% of people opened them and 14 people clicked. So you are, have access to data such as this to be able to see how your emails are performing, which is helpful, not just helpful, but essential when you're doing an email campaign. 99.7% were delivered and did not bounce back or report spam, so that's fantastic. Let's take a look at the workflows here because when you set up a sequence, when someone signs up for your lead magnet, which in my case is the, you know, we need to start with the forms first because I want you to see my lead magnet. This is a lead magnet I created inside of Flowdesk. This graphic did not come from Flowdesk. I created this, inserted it here. But you can see how beautiful and clean the page is with their text. Tell them what they're getting, why they need it, and then they enter their name and email and they can download their freebie. This can be sent to them via an external link or actually land in their email box. Depends on what you decide. But I've always loved how this looks. I think this looks amazing. And you can stick this in a few different places, including on your Instagram page, if you choose. So that is the opt-in page and the workflows. So now that we know what my subscribe page looks like, the page that I use to obtain subscribers, we're gonna go into the workflow sequence. And once they download your freebie, they're going to receive a welcome email. A welcome email with what was promised, whatever was promised to them, whether it was an ebook, a worksheet, a workbook, uh, whatever you're delivering as your freebie. So for time delay, we have wait seven days. Okay, and then after seven days, you're going to follow up with them again. And typically, there's a formula here. Typically, you don't want to just hit them over the head with your offer and try to sell something immediately upon meeting them. First email, you're delivering value, right? Because you're delivering something for free. Second email, you should be delivering value as well. Third email, you can deliver an anecdote. Uh, you can deliver an invitation for them to follow you on your social media channels, anything you want to put here. And then for the fourth email, you can pitch them. You don't want to just jump in with the pitch. Now, these things in between, wait 30 days, wait three days, wait seven days, this is the frequency with which I feel comfortable communicating with my audience. But of course, there are plenty of marketers out there who, once you sign up for their uh, free item, uh, they're going to hit you over the head with emails, bam, 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 one after another. I've never liked that or appreciated that, so I don't do that to my clients, but it really depends on you. 
and uh, the urgency behind your offer and what type of relationship you want to build with your clients. I'm looking to build a, a relationship or a bond, if you will, with my clients. Um, so I'm not desperate for a sale uh, within you know, the first week because I want them to know really what I'm all about. So this is what that's going to look like if you decide to use workflows within Flowdesk, okay? So that's that. And let's go back out of here. Email marketing, of course, you do want to deliver value. You want to have those conversations. You want to build rapport. But don't forget that it is about selling, right? So you do want to create email campaigns for the purpose of selling. That's equally important. Here I have my segments. So my audience, all subscribers, and the segments. So where did each of these groups of subscribers come from? You can break them down into groups to help yourself stay organized and so you avoid sending irrelevant informa information to groups that it might not pertain to. So for example, anyone who was a student of mine or subscribed to a LASH training that I put out uh, last year um, would be interested in different things uh, related to that training than say my salon clients. My salon clients know me in person. Uh, they are local to where my salons were and they might have a different group of interests, and yet still there might be things that apply to all of these people, at which point I would design an email for all the subscribers. So let's take a look at some of the templates that you would have to choose from. Go to create new email. And here's some of the templates that you can play around with or send out to your audience. These are really very beautiful, very well made, very modern. Nothing inside of Flowdesk is uh, dated, in my opinion. Everything is pretty on point in terms of representing your brand in a modern way. I really like this one. You can take a look at what it looks like if you decide that's the one you want to use. This would be great for a boutique because it has so many spots for different images. So you would go to Customize let's pick a different one. Um, something that I would use, for example, to keep in touch with my audience if they haven't heard from me in a while was this one. You can take a look at it. Now I can delete, that's a lot of boxes, so I'd probably delete a couple of them, but overall it looks like something that I like to use. I'm going to insert my picture here. So this is touching base if you haven't talked to your email list in a while, wondering what the heck I've been up to. And it gives you these prompts so that you know what to say so you don't have to uh, agonize about what you should talk to your list about. I'm not doing any promotions right now, so I'll delete that. Don't need that. Um, but I can update them on a few different things, maybe the website, um, and get, say a hello, um, happy spring happy holidays, whatever time of year it might be, and then I'll sign it XO Jazzy. Okay, and I've also have my logo ingrained in there. Um, and so this is what it will look like when you're creating emails. Now there's two versions of this video, guys. There is just the screen version, and there is also a version where I am giving my thoughts on flow desk and opinions. So if you're not already watching that video, you can use the link up there in the top right corner um, to click on that video to see my basically a long, a longer video with me physically in it um, speaking about my opinion of flow desk, who it's for, what it can do, and goes a little bit further in depth into that. Okay, so I hope that seeing the inside of Flowdesk has helped you. Um, if you, again, are just watching the mobile version, or excuse me, the digital version of this video, you can also check out the link uh, to see the full version, which includes my opinion on the platform as a whole. Okay, hope you guys have a great day. Please like and subscribe if you got anything out of this video. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. Thank you, guys.